let's say we head all the way east now to the city of Philadelphia. I thought Temple was a basketball school. They're playing <laughs> Mac football this year. Finally. Yeah. They're finally in the conference, and everybody is thrilled about it, but nobody more so than head coach Al Golden. In, in simple terms, he now has something that his players can play for. Al says it's a conference championship, and that's the way they have to look at things right now. Wonderful thing for Temple as they head into this season. They're coming off a 1-11 and season. That's not the wonderful thing. But during that season, they played more than 20 true freshmen, more than any other program in the entire country. The Temple Owls are the new kids on the block in the Mid-American Conference. The Owls head coach, Al Golden, has been gearing up for this first season in the conference since getting the Temple job a year and a half ago. You're talking about a conference that uh, sent four programs to a bowl game, doing the things that we have to do to, to try to, to, to win our East Division and have an opportunity to win the title um, is uh, tremendous for our program day in and day out. The Owls are young, very young. For example, the defense is comprised of all underclassmen and the same for most of the offense. And the most of the guys that are here now are a product of, of my coaching staff and of our philosophy and our, and, and our programs. From an inexperienced standpoint, um, it will only impact uh, our team if we let it. At the center of the offensive line, the Owls feature a preseason all-conference player in junior Alex Derenthal. If there's a better uh, center in our conference, uh, I, I would like to meet him. Uh, this is a... Uh, a guy that's just a uh, lunch pail kind of guy and he's he's done a great job with his strength in the offseason program he'll be a tremendous asset uh, you know to our offense and coach DeLeon anchoring that uh, offensive line for the next uh, 28 games on the other side of the ball Golden says the guys up front are the strength of the Temple defense uh, the defensive line is uh, you know that should be our strength you know and that's our challenge for those guys every day you know, we should be able to play eight guys uh, in the ball game, a uh, minimum of eight guys in the ball game, and I think that's the fight right now, and that's the competition. What's been the off-season goal for Al Golden and his staff, anticipating the Al's first season in the MAC? Can we match the passion, the pride, and the toughness of the MAC conference? And that, that, to me, is the biggest thing that we have to get across to our, our our team. The man who brings the excitement to Temple football, Travis Shelton, wide receiver, kickoff returner. As a receiver, 20 catches over 300 yards, 17.2 yards a catch and three touchdowns. But as a kickoff returner, 27 returns for almost 29 yards a return, and he took one all the way back, 96 yards for a touchdown last year. Obviously, he has uh, rare talent, and, and but the question is now, will he develop as a full-time starter at wide receiver, uh, and will he continue to do what he did on special teams last year for us? That's, that's, what, that's what remains to be seen for Travis. But... Uh, Obviously, he has a bright future. Coincidence here, Michael. Travis Shelton's cousin just happens to be a guy who does the same type of things on a football field. Devin Hester, kickoff returner extraordinaire, and now wide receiver of the Chicago Bears. So something in that family leads to very exciting football players.